हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम ऑन वेरिएबल एक्सेलरेशन मोशन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट हियर इज अ प्रॉब्लम ड्यूरिंग अ टेस्ट टेस्ट द कार मूव्स इन अ स्ट्रेट लाइन सच दैट इट्स वेलोसिटी इज डिफाइन बाय v इज इक्वल टू 0.3 इन ब्रैकेट 90 स्क्वायर प्लस 2t मीटर पर सेकंड वेयर t इज इन सेकंड determine the position and acceleration so let's start the problem during a during a test the car moves in a straight line such that its velocity is defined by v is equal to 0.3 in bracket 90 square plus 2t meter per second where t is in a second determine the position and acceleration when t is equal to 3 second take at t is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 so here velocity is a function of t means if the time change here velocity is a function of t if time changes velocity goes keep on changing if velocity keep on changing with respect to time means acceleration of the particle also keep on changing with respect to time so it is a variable acceleration acceleration motion problem okay so in this problem they asked to calculate the position and acceleration when t is equal to 3 seconds so here here we know the velocity which is function of t okay they asked to calculate what is the position x and acceleration so in in our previous video we see how to calculate acceleration from velocity and position from velocity if we know the velocity of the particle and they asked to calculate acceleration then simply differentiate okay and they ask to calculate the position of the particle and they given velocity then we have to integrate okay so let's start with the solution so given they give velocity of particle that is 0.3 into 9 t square plus 2t okay and they ask to calculate position and acceleration of the particle so first let's find out the position of the particle so if we want the position of the particle then we have to integrate the velocity okay so first we find out the what is the equation of the position in terms of t sir so here we know velocity and we have calculated the position so we have one formula that is v is equal to dx upon dt okay we know the velocity in terms of t that is 0.3 Into 9t square plus 2t is equal to dx upon dt. Just multiply dt on denominator side to multiply on left hand side. So here we have to find the position from the velocity to we have to integrate. Okay. so integrate on both side so here 0.3 is a constant so we take outside of the integration okay 0.3 into 9 t cube by 3 plus 2 e square by 2 plus c in integration we introduce one constant and integration of one with respect to dx is x so here 
there is a one unknown that is C. So we have to calculate C first. So here C is unknown. So we have to calculate C first. So in equation they give the condition that is at a t is equal to 0, x is equal to 0. So we use this condition to find C. Okay. If you if we substitute t is equal to 0 and, and x is equal to 0, we get the value of C is equal to 0. So we get the first equation of position of the particle that is x is equal to 0 0.3 into 3t cube plus t square. This is our first equation. Okay. But in question, but in question, they ask to cal determine the position when t is equal to 3 seconds. So, just substitute t is equal to 3 seconds in equation number 1. Okay. If we solve this equation, we get answer x is equal to this is our final answer that is x is equal to 27 meter. Okay. So we get first unknown that is position of the particle when t is equal to 3 seconds. They also ask to find the acceleration of the particle when t is equal to 3 seconds. So here we know the velocity and we have to calculate we have to calculate acceleration of the particle if we know the velocity and they ask to calculate acceleration so we have to just simply differentiate the function velo velocity okay so we know the function velocity that is 0.3 into 90 square plus 2 T. We have to find the acceleration of the particle. So then differentiate with respect to T. Okay. So we get dv by dt is equal to. Okay. If we if we differentiate this equation, we get 0.3 into 18t plus 2 dv by dt. But we know acceleration is rate of change of velocity with respect to times means a is equal to dv by dt. Therefore dv by dt is equal to acceleration that is a in a is equal to 0.3 into 18 t plus 2 okay this is our second equation they ask the acceleration of particle when t is equal to 3 seconds okay then simply substitute t is equal to 3 seconds then acceleration is equal to 0 0.3 into 18 3 plus 2. If you calculate this equation, we get answer A is equal to. This is our final answer. That is acceleration of particle when T is equal to 3 second is 16.8 meter per second square and and position of the particle when time is equal to 3 seconds it is 27 meter thank you if you like my video please like share and subscribe our channel thank you